Hello everybody and welcome to the Seller Board Show. My name is Vladi and today we're going to talk about external traffic and Google. So um, I think that's a very important topic and a very interesting one and uh, one which is totally underrated. So um, it turns out that it's possible to uh, launch your products but also to help your sales and actually to generate um, profit using Google search ads for your Amazon listings. And this is what we're gonna discuss with our today's guest. Before we start, uh, make sure you check out our software sellerboard.com. Sellerboard is a profit analytics tool. Uh, we're uh, on a mission to build the world's most accurate and most user-friendly financial analytics tool for Amazon sellers. And uh, recently we uh, launched a new feature, PPC dashboard which um, actually takes all of your campaigns and um, ad groups and keywords and calculates the profit. So since we're a profit tool, we're good at calculating profit and um, uh, we wanted to um, basically to build a dashboard where you can evaluate the performance of each of your campaigns, ad groups, and even keywords in, in terms of profit. So you immediately see where you're making money and where you're burning money. Check this out, there's a free trial um, it's a free 30-day trial and after that it starts at 19 bucks a month and um, now let's start the show hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of the seller board show my name is Vladi and my guest today is Natalie hi Natalie hey <laughs> thanks for coming we're gonna talk um, about external traffic is that correct yes that's right that's awesome. Look, um, so before we start, maybe you can um, introduce yourself to our audience. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I've been working in internet marketing for um, about eight years now. And um, now I'm running four Amazon accounts and uh, four Shopify stores. Um, and I'm doing all external traffic for these accounts. Um, so I'm managing them. I'm adding all products and mm -hmm. I'm running all ads and finding ways to get more traffic for these listings. That's nice. Well, <laughs> right now. can you tell us um, a little bit more like about your background? Like how did you get into, into this Amazon or e-commerce uh, thing? Sure. So um, I was working as PPC manager for uh, three years back in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, doing Google Ads mostly, and um, I was Google certified for for Google Ads and for Google Analytics. And then I found a job here um, mm -hmm. in U USA, in Orlando, um, and with my boss, we launched a few brands. Nice. Um, yeah, they all in the yoga industry. Mm -hmm. So um, we opened three different accounts for three different brands. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I started learning from beginning how to do all this. And now we have three business businesses which we're running. So tell me, like, do you actually um, also sell on Amazon yourself? Yeah, I have my one, my own account, but I sell yeah. different products. Okay, is it like uh, private label? Or, yeah, um, mm -hmm. that's all private label. Um, nice. So um, tell me, so I've heard a couple of uh, interesting uh, buzzwords. Uh, uh, so for, first one is Google. Uh, and um, we actually never really covered this topic like Google Ads. So um, do you want to like walk us through your process? Like how do we use um, external traffic uh, maybe on the high level first, um, you know, for launching and then for promoting your products and, uh, you know, growing a list and so on so can you talk about that a little bit yeah of course so i've noticed that not many people are actually talking about google ads mostly uh, people run facebook ads um some instagram ads um mm -hmm. but no one actually talks about google mm -hmm. uh, so google we mostly use not for launches but more for sales for already existing products mm -hmm. uh, for launching we use uh Facebook, rebate key, um, like different giveaways, uh, different email blasts and so on for our 
audience which we already have. Um, but Google Ads helps us to get new clients from Google Search. Mm -hmm. So it's already mostly for um, existing products which we need to sell uh, after launch. <laughs> so mm -hmm. so yeah. do you guys like, um, basically my uh, view or like my experience with Google, and actually not only Google, also Facebook was that, um, and when I was a seller, that, that it's not profitable. You know? I, I haven't really managed to um, make a sale and, and pay less for advertising than, uh, than my margin was. Like, do, well, what's, what's your take on that? Is that possible or do you need to view like the customer lifetime value? Yeah, so Facebook is tough for selling. For, mm -hmm. um, Facebook is good for two types of products. Uh, first of all, it's products with high margin. So we have one of these products in which we have high margin and we mostly get sales from Facebook. So we run video ads on Facebook and it, we are making uh, sales and they are profitable, mm -hmm. but only because we have really good margin on it. Like okay. I'm not going in percentages, I'm, I'm talking um, like, like 30, 40 bucks on a product. Wow. So you have, yeah, you have the ability to mm -hmm. uh, make money on it. Yeah. And the second type of products is like viral products. Mm -hmm. It's when something really go viral and people just buy it, not even researching what is that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just want it right now, right here. We had one of these products when we just started. It was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I thought Amazon is so easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just started and it just like sales were huge only because uh, it was like viral product. And we were running a lot of Facebook ads at that moment. Uh, but mostly, yes, that's right. It's hard to make money if you sell regular products uh, mm -hmm. trying to sell them through Facebook ads. Uh, tell me like about the viral uh, thing. So how does that uh, economy work? You need to make a post viral and then it gets organic traffic or organically reposted or how does this work? So in our situation, we found the product which was already viral. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we found a product which was uh, super popular in uh, yoga industry at that moment. Mm -hmm. And we saw tons of ads about this product. Mm -hmm. And why um, like since we saw those ads, we went to Amazon and checked if there anyone sells it on Amazon. And it was only a few sellers who were selling that mm -hmm. product. So when we started selling it, and we also found a um, little bit better quality product, uh, we got almost all sales from Amazon for this <laughs> item. Okay. But how, like, do you, so do you basically... Um... I use in, in you said like it goes viral. Um, do you mean like it goes viral? Um, it picks up on Amazon and then you get organic traffic, or how do you like earn um, your invest into advertising? Right. So you need to have a big margin, right? Or um, or is it like a in this case, almost everyone who saw that ad <laughs> was buying it. Oh, I see. You have a huge conversion, basically. Yes. Yes. Huge okay. conversion. Well, was it a fidget spinner? No. <laughs> uh, is, is it fidget... was not. Is fidget actually, spinner I, even yoga? <laughs> yeah, actually, I was trying to sell fidget spinners too, but so, it was too late. So, <laughs> so yeah, when I started, it was already um, hard to get to that market. <laughs> yeah, but that first product product mm -hmm. was was great. It's still selling. Mm -hmm. We still sell it, but it was huge three years ago. So, all right, let's get back then to, um, uh, what's Google. The, uh, to Google, exactly. So you said on yeah. Facebook, it's tough. Um, basically, you need a huge margin or you need a huge conversion. Um, so what about Google? Uh, yeah, and also I wanted to say that Facebook, we're mostly right now using for launches. So mm -hmm. we don't use it much for like consistent sales for mm -hmm. existing product. Mm -hmm. We mostly use it only for launches and with like chatbots, mm -hmm. like give um, with Google Ads, it's much more interesting because um, when I came to the US, um, I barely could make something work on Google Ads. Mm -hmm. And it was really hard for me because for three years in Ukraine, I was 
selling everything <laughs> through Google ads and it mm -hmm. was working great because price per click is so low over there and mm -hmm. here price per clicks are super high. Mm -hmm. um, so here only thing which was working is mostly services where they have like high margin or SaaS products. Like a lawyer. Right? Yeah, when you get like customer for first month and they subscribe and they mm -hmm. come back yeah. but uh, e-commerce was really tough mm -hmm. yeah. it was really hard to make it work because uh, price per click was um, super high and uh, margins were low mm -hmm. and yeah you can make money on uh, future sales when people come back but yeah. still it's hard to start yeah um, so what's the cool thing about Amazon is that you can find keywords with word Amazon. Most of e-commerce stores exclude these words. They put it on negative keywords. Yeah. So for example, if person looking for, let's say, fidget spinner, <laughs> fidget spinner Amazon, mm -hmm. you usually have the lowest CPC because all other people who are trying to sell same fidget spinners, they use Amazon as negative keyword. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me make sure I understand this because I think this is a, a golden nugget here. So <laughs> like most of the shops don't want who sell fidget spinners, let's say, don't want um, to pay for clicks with this like product and the word Amazon, fidget yeah. spinner Amazon, because they know a customer is probably just looking for this product on Amazon and it's too exactly. lazy to, to go to the Amazon website and search there, right? So they go ahead and yeah. type in whatever they want, Amazon on Google. So yeah. uh, the store knows, okay, we will pay for, for the click, but uh, they will not convert because we're obviously not Amazon. Yeah, right? exactly. Wow. Yeah, so just these customers are starting their shopping journey, not mm -hmm. on Amazon, but on mm -hmm. Google. It's same people who would come yeah. to Amazon to search for this product, but they're searching in Google. This is why nice. sometimes clicks are very cheap. Like the lowest um, price per click for us was approximately like 16, 18 cents. What's that? 16? 16, 18 cents. Okay, 16 to 18 cents. That's very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Comparing to Amazon prices per click, mm -hmm. per click it's really cheap. And if you have a good listing, if you have uh, good pictures, if you have reviews, hey most likely these people will convert. Mm -hmm. Do you know like what the conversion um, is? Roughly? Yeah, so the hardest part, of course, with all external traffic is mm -hmm. to measure conversion. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. hard. Um, but there is a way to do it. Um, you know, like Amazon has um, promotional um, codes which create a separate page for um, for social media, they call it social media promo codes, I believe. Okay, I actually never heard about it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you can create just a regular discount or you can create a discount with kind of landing page. Mm -hmm. So when people come to that landing page, um, your coupon code automatically applies mm -hmm. to their account. And when they buy, um, it's always, uh, you can check that they actually came and used your coupon code. Okay. So when you run Google ads, you can use this page as your landing page. And this way you can uh, track how many people actually bought from your Google ads. Okay. Uh, you can also create different coupon codes for different campaigns or even for different ad groups. So mm -hmm. inside your account for different ads, for different like angles. Mm -hmm. You're right. And like, uh, what's what's your exp in your experience? Is it like uh, rather ten percent or rather one percent conversion? Or um, um, yeah, of course, it depends on the product. You can't say there is no number which yeah. will be like I can't say that all ads from Google Ads would convert. With sure, but, but it's like it's in general it should be lower than uh, Amazon, right? Yeah, sure, it's lower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, for some products, it didn't work at all for me. So mm -hmm. I always, I always try different types of traffic for all products. For example, for some products, Amazon PPC is great. For some products, Amazon PPC is super expensive and not working 
Like mm -hmm. for me, I don't know, maybe mm -hmm. someone can make all Amazon PPC work. I can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for some products, Facebook works. Uh, like we had that one, which has a high margin. Mm -hmm. um, and for third product, by the way, for this product, we, I tried Google ads and it didn't convert. Mm -hmm. It works on Facebook because people want to see a picture. It's mm -hmm. like beautiful product and people want to see it. But when people come from Google search, they mostly yeah. not. Mm -hmm. And there are different product which you can sell through Google ads. So I usually try all different ways before I find something that really works for this exact product. Nice. Okay, so tell me, like, how do you even create a Google, is it even like allowed or possible to advertise, I thought it's, it's not like to advertise uh, Amazon listings on Google or do you need something in the middle? No, no, it, you can run uh, Google ads. You cannot advertise Amazon partner links. It's, um, mm -hmm. for example, if you have Amazon Associates account. Yeah. And if you um, trying to promote other products, not your products, but mm -hmm. other products, Amazon partner program then you cannot use direct links you should always run traffic to the landing page like mm -hmm. landing page on your blog for example yeah and uh, from there people can mm -hmm. go to Amazon but for your own product if you just run in traffic to your land to your listing mm -hmm. you can run it anywhere Facebook AdWords Instagram mm -hmm. <laughs> Pinterest wherever so if we're talking about Google, is it like, um, you know, on Google, there, there, there are, I believe, different types of ads, right? And one ad yeah. is just an ad where you target a keyword. And another thing is Google Shopping or Google product listing ads. Um, so this is not what we're, what we're doing, yeah, right? We're doing not the Google Shopping because for Google Shopping, you actually need to put a specific code to your uh, landing page and okay. Amazon doesn't allow you to do and to do this you cannot add any codes mm -hmm. to amazon okay. listings so i mostly talk about google search mm -hmm. um there is a different type of ads you can run it's remarketing which will be um which you can like collect the audience and mm -hmm. run ads after people visited your page but again you cannot mm -hmm. put a code and um, there is another which calls media media ads. It's when you run banners on different mm -hmm. other websites, but it's a little bit harder to understand for people. That's so why I mostly talk about Google search. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, banners can be even cheaper than Google mm -hmm. search, but Google search um, in most of situations convert better than mm -hmm. banner ads. Okay, so tell me, like you're saying you're mostly using this to like help your sales or to support mm -hmm. your, your sales, right? But yeah. um, it, do you still have a goal or is it even possible to be profitable on, um, on this, like on, on each transaction, so to say, right? Yeah, so um, my goal is not always to be profitable on each transaction. Mm -hmm. Because uh, first of all, I love selling products which are replenishable. So when mm -hmm. people come once, they keep buying, they subscribe. And, yeah. uh, and the second thing is um, when you get conversion, right? When you get sales, the more sales you get, the higher positions in ranking you'll mm -hmm. get on Amazon. You will have higher BSR and you can get more organic sales. Mm -hmm. So it's always important to get as many sales as possible from different channels. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the ways, sometimes it's not profitable, but if it gives you at least some sales, it's mm -hmm. still worth it. Yeah. Because you, you will start getting organic sales from Amazon. Okay. so. But um, like what you say, there is a way to make it profitable if it's a not replenishable product and you don't want to boost or like launch. I just want to basically put, throw in coins into the ads and then um, get more money uh, coming out. Is it, is it possible? With it is. Yeah, it, like again, <laughs> depends on the product mm -hmm. and um, 
some products can you can sell a lot maybe not profitable mm-hmm. at, at the point of getting sales from external traffic but since you're getting sales amazon mm-hmm. boosts your better yeah. not only during launch even during like just selling <laughs> time okay. That, that's the product. That uh, sounds cool. Look, let's. Uh, I have. I have. Uh, actually, I have a lot of questions. So tell me, okay. like, when you're advertising and doing the search ads, what what URL are you pointing the users to? Is it the listing, or the listing with some keywords, or some like super URL, or something like this? Um, so I usually start with this tracking system, which I explained mm-hmm. to you, right? Okay. This promo code. Mm-hmm. But it can work only for one month, and it's exactly how much you need just to understand if this type of ads work for you or not. Mm-hmm. You cannot. How is it called? Where, where do I find like this? This. Uh... Uh, if you go to um, promotions, mm-hmm. let me check to make sure how it goes. Um, I believe it calls uh, social media promo codes. But oh, I haven't been selling for quite a while, so uh, I didn't even know this exists. If you go to advertising and if you go to promotions, uh, you will find social media promo code. Yeah, that's how it calls. And you can okay. create it and end date can't be uh, later than 30 days. Okay, and that gives you this landing page um, automatically. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like landing page with one product mm-hmm. and coupon code, which applies okay. automatically to the mm-hmm. account um, of the buyer. So, is it like a coupon code? Is it like a one-time thing, or is it available? Is it does it apply to all customers? So basically, you so can you, run out of stock if you. You are, can set it up, but I believe it's one-time thing. So it's once per per customer or um, how does it work? Okay, okay, I get it. Um, all right, so um, basically you set up your ad and you point the users to this, uh, to this page. Okay, uh, so how does this like Google ads uh, look like? like? I mean, a lot of, I'm sure our listeners know about uh, PPC and how to set it up and we had a lot of uh, you know, uh, content about PPC, but like Google, um, uh, I think most of uh, most of the sellers uh, don't really have experience with that. So, how does it is it like similar to PPC? Okay, so if you go to Google and if you search for something like I don't know garlic press mm-hmm. or whatever, you will see usually on the top you will see ads with pictures, mm-hmm. uh, shopping ads, mm-hmm. not what you do, mm-hmm. and under it you will see um, like text with title and description and it will have a sign ad mm-hmm. so this is uh, a google search ads usually they show them on the top and on the bottom of the page mm-hmm. and yeah, like usually it's like three four ads on the top and mm-hmm. uh, two three on the bottom okay and internally like what what do i even need to run those ads so you don't need a, a Google a Gmail account or how does this work? Yeah, you create Google Ads account. It was mm-hmm. called Google AdWords before and most of people used to this name, especially mm-hmm. people who were advertising some years ago. Mm-hmm. I still call it AdWords, but uh, it calls Google Ads and you create accounts there. It's super simple, user friendly. So you just put your information like your email address and mm-hmm. your... Uh, payment information mm-hmm. and uh, create that account. There are tons of videos on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can like have uh, step-by-step uh, instructions and uh, there are tons of um, just information on Google you can read. Mm-hmm. And how does it work? Basically, it's similar to, to PPC, I guess, right? You provide a keyword and then um, some sort of... Uh like the type, whether it's broad, target, or um, I don't know, exact match. And so yeah, broad, you... phrase, and exact match. Mm-hmm. That's how it calls. And and, uh, usually I research uh, for keywords on the same tools where I'm finding words for Amazon PPC. Mm-hmm. 
So um, I guess like you set it up and you uh, set some budget and uh, how do you actually like um, optimize it? Yeah, so the best way to optimize is to see um, how many people buy from uh, different like mm -hmm. ad groups or different mm -hmm. companies, right? So uh, to do this, you need to create different coupon codes for different campaigns or different ad groups. Mm -hmm. Like first months need the, more, the most of work. Mm -hmm. So you need to create those uh, coupon codes and you need to create different campaigns uh, then different ad groups and you group keywords for specific um, attributes. For example, um, let's say fidget spinner. <laughs> uh, there are like different fidget spinners can be, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, metal or like mm -hmm. plastic. And if you sell only metal, you need to make sure that you um, run ads uh, using metal fidget spinner keywords mm -hmm. and exclude as there is like a place where you can put negative keywords and uh, so you need to put a plastic as a negative keyword mm -hmm. so to make sure you're not getting traffic for not relevant keywords yeah yeah so um, and then basically you're checking uh, what coupon codes work the, the most often mm -hmm. yeah so what coupon codes people use mostly and then you can calculate how many orders you received from specific ad group or a specific mm -hmm. company okay so basically you have a group uh, that's okay like metal fidget spinners whatever and uh, then you have a coupon code then um, like we don't have something like an acres right on uh, on google yeah um yeah, so it's, it's like how really hard to measure anything with external traffic on amazon mm -hmm. i heard that amazon is going to give much more stats soon yeah i hope mm -hmm. <laughs> it will happen yeah. but so far that's all what we have mm -hmm. and um that's only a way kind of we found how to track mm -hmm. it but of course but, it doesn't give you a whole picture but like tell me you said basically you check on amazon you check how often the coupon code was uh, used right so how do you do that uh, even on Amazon? Uh, on reports, mm -hmm. um, on the reports, you can find uh, reports for promotions mm -hmm. and you can always find which um, coupon code were used. So you can okay. calculate how many times specific coupon code were mm -hmm. used. And based on that, you can calculate how much mm -hmm. you paid for one conversion. By the way, you can also do this, uh, do this with a uh, seller board. Uh, either oh, the right. dashboard we show or we show uh, the coupon code name or we have a report as well. Right. But, um, <laughs> but you're also fine with, uh, with the seller central. And for this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. basically you see like, okay, this coupon code was redeemed like 10 times uh -huh. uh, within a week or so. And then you know you paid, I don't know, maybe $100 for um, this ad group on Google. And then you kind of know what your ACOS is, right? Yeah. Okay. And how do you like track this uh, manually? Yeah, that like that's the only way you have right now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's even more than most people know about. So mm -hmm. <laughs> usually, people just run external traffic and mm -hmm. they just like guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If it works or not. So. Yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, that's what we have with Amazon. Mm -hmm. I. I've been working as internet marketer for so many years. I'm, I'm so used to Google Analytics mm -hmm. and like, tracking everything, everything you can imagine from like what your website, mm -hmm. what people were doing on your website. And it was really hard for me when I just started like, yeah. working on Amazon and like no stats there. You cannot understand what's working. But this mm -hmm. is the only way we found and Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's that's very cool. I think uh, uh, that that's also more than than I knew um, before this uh, talk for sure. But um, yeah, I've also heard that they want to release some more um, stats, like uh, about the traffic sources and stuff like this. So this would be uh, very interesting for sure. Yeah. So um, look, I think um, it's very uh, at least for me it was very um, interesting and very new. This this kind of uh, 
you know, topic. Google ads never, as I said, we never had this on our show. So tell us, like, um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, to be honest. So uh, it's a lot of stuff, you know, and you need to optimize Google, and it's totally new for, like, for an Amazon seller. Like, um, how can people get help, you know, if they need uh, like, so <laughs> do you do you like uh, can, do you help out sellers with this uh, kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, I I consult sometimes, so I mm -hmm. can for sure I can help people. Mm -hmm. So people can reach me on Facebook and mm -hmm. write me a message, and <laughs> we can have a consultation. Mm -hmm. uh, the hardest part is yeah, it's. Um, you can find information about how to set up Google ads, but it's hard to find Google ads for Amazon. There is mm -hmm. like almost nothing on the internet about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm consulting time by time. I don't have much, like, like I don't have a lot of time, but sometimes mm -hmm. I do. Okay, so we'll, anyway, we'll put your uh, profile into the description uh, so that people can <laughs> drop okay. you a message. Um, look, actually, um, uh, there are so many interesting things that you mentioned uh, that I'd like to know more about, but um, I think in the interest of time, maybe we'll just pick one. So you said, you mentioned like um, Shopify stores, mm -hmm. right? And I guess the Shopify store, it runs only on external traffic, right? Because there's no like... Yeah. Amazon, which gives you traffic for free. Um, so, um, what what uh, works and what doesn't work there? Uh, Shopify, um, it's Shopify. It's like a regular website, so mm -hmm. it it always depends on your offer, uh, like what you sell, how you sell it, how your landing page looks like. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes, like if your landing page is really good, and if it's the product which people really want, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, it can sell from any type of uh, traffic. Mm -hmm. So I really believe that your offer is more important than type of traffic, even the okay. ways you set up your traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a product which, um, uh, same product which was super hot on Amazon. It was hot on. Uh, Shopify at the same mm -hmm. time. Too. So whatever we were running, like Google ads, Facebook ads, Pinterest, even mm -hmm. directly to that offer, it was converting. Wow. Uh, but some products we just can't make work. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we run traffic, but it doesn't mm -hmm. convert as good. Okay. So it all depends on your like product research on, um, on your copy, on um, how hot is this product at that moment. And so Got it. Um, so tell me, you mentioned that uh, product listing ads don't work on um, Amazon, right? But they, they do work on okay. Shopify, right? Google Shopping, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really easy to set up. They have mm -hmm. apps um, so where you just connect everything. And um, uh, you, for shopping, for Google Shopping, you need additional account. It calls a Google Merchant Center. Mm -hmm. It's a different story. <laughs> so, so yeah, you need to connect it to your Google Ads account and you, to your Shopify store. So it's like three accounts which needs to be connected, and then you can set up those ads. So do you like? Um, do you have any experience, positive or negative, with this uh, with these kind of ads, uh, Google Shopping? Uh, Google Shopping works uh, good for Shopify for sure. Mm -hmm. Like. Um, it's um, it's one of uh, not expensive, one of types of not expensive ads, mm -hmm. and it, it shows a picture. But again, mm -hmm. depends on a <laughs> on a product. Some products will be expensive <laughs> for mm -hmm. any type. But um, yeah, you can show a picture of your product, and you can. Um, and people come directly to this product. So mm -hmm. Google Shopping searching for keywords by itself based mm -hmm. on what information you put. So you can't like optimize or provide any keywords. You just give, uh, give Google a product and Google says, okay, I, I know what this is and I know how to advertise it. Is that? You what? can add, um, after, after Google showed your ads, you can mm -hmm. see for what keywords it was showing them. Okay. And then 
exclude keywords which you think are not relevant. I can exclude, okay, I get it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, like, can you um, give us a guidance, like what, what's an average click price or what's the corridor? I mean, it's hard to say, but let's say, I mean, is it rather in the cent area or 50 cent or rather $1 per click on Google Shopping? It, it's hard, very hard to say. On a product. It mm -hmm. can be absolutely different price, yeah. Some but products is it, like, is it cheaper than, than Google Search Ads? It usually it is mm -hmm. because um, usually lower amount of people are advertising on Google Shopping. I, mm -hmm. I guess it's because it's a little bit uh, harder to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to have a little bit more knowledge. Yeah. But, um, but still you have a competition of uh, such uh, companies as Etsy. Etsy mm -hmm. advertise on its own uh, on Google Shopping. Okay. And so big brands are mm -hmm. advertising. Uh, big brands always advertise on mm -hmm. Google Shop. Mm -hmm. So in some products, it can be expensive only because like big brands are there. But it depends. Sometimes it can be 30 cents. Some, sometimes mm -hmm. it can be like five bucks. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, look, very cool. Natalie, tell us um, like, what what else what how can you like help our audience and uh, uh, where can they find you if you have any like channel or website or whatever uh, so uh, I have my website but it's still in Russian okay <laughs> so, but I'm translating it to English so hopefully I'll have it soon on English too I have only one article now mm -hmm. over there on English okay uh, so the best the best way to find me uh, is on Facebook, I'm always active there, and I'm always responding to everyone. Um, the other thing, what I do for people is writing uh, listings. Mm -hmm. So I have a team of Americans. <laughs> I'm not writing. <laughs> My English is still far from perfect. So I have American copywriters who do mm -hmm. all this, but I do keyword research. Mm -hmm. um, and I give all the guidance to um, these copywriters. So yeah, that's what we do for clients. And sometimes I'm consulting. That's mm -hmm. all, all I can do for now because I have a work and a little baby. <laughs> so. Wow, nice. Okay, uh, look, thanks so much. Um, it was very nice having you here. And um, uh, I'm, I'm also very happy about the content because it's uh, really, really something new for our channel and in general. As you said, there's not too much uh, content about um, Google you know, ads for, for Amazon. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be glad to have you back sometime. Maybe we can uh, discuss some other topic in more detail. Sure. And if anyone have any questions, you can just uh, leave them in the comments. I can come and answer. <laughs> sure. Thanks so much, Natalie. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If so, then uh, don't forget to press the like button. Uh, tell us what you think. Really want to hear your feedback, want to read your feedback. Comment this video below uh, or um, just contact us and uh, you know, tell us what you think about the show, about uh, the topics. And um, if you'd like to be a guest yourself, then uh, we'd also be happy to hear from you. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already and uh, make sure you check out Sellerboard. Sellerboard.com is our profit analytics tool and we're on a mission to build the world's most accurate and most user-friendly financial analytics tool uh, for Amazon sellers. See you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.